so welcome back everyone Mike here the French are famous for many things I'm sure two that I'm familiar with are French fries and French drains although I'm not sure they really had anything to do with either of them regardless of that though I'm a fan of both today we are going to be installing a French drain down here at the new house I'll kind of show you what's going on I showed you this area here in a video the other day but this is like a turnaround here and a parking area and it always stays wet right here and there's a swale that comes from up behind the house and that water drains behind that big pipe. I'm not using that today for a French drain. Don't worry. But I just have a lot of water always stays wet in here. Then after I shot that video, I got to thinking, and a few guys actually mentioned it. There's a downspout right up there. And so that downspout, I think, is kind of contributing to this as well. But I don't think that's the only problem. Because when it's after a couple rains, the water's always kind of coming from that culvert pipe this way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of put a French drain around the whole perimeter of this area here to get this dried up. And I will also run a new pipe for the downspout. Probably just tie into that. I'll see how much groundwater I hit when I'm digging. Uh, but that's the plan here for today. Should work out pretty, pretty well. When I was grading the driveway down there, uh, there was some old steel pipe that was all rotten. I think that may have been from that downspot. So I'm thinking that whole thing has been collapsed for a long time, which is adding to this problem, but I'm going to take care of both of them. I'm going to dig this with the uh, RK24 with the six and a half foot backhoe. I have never run a subcompact tractor before moving any dirt, but just moving that little bit that I did, this thing is a little tank. 24 horsepower. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start back in that corner and I'll bail my dirt over to this side here. Once I get this run dug, I'll get rid of this dirt and start putting pipe in here, backfill with river gravel, and I'll show you how I put in a French drain.
that is definitely the problem. That old uh, terracotta pipe was all plugged up and leaking and it just kind of found its way through the ground out into the driveway. It's already drying up just because all the water is collecting in the ditch right now but once that would fill up it would do the same thing. So the next step will be I'll run a new line for the downspout right down this way and I'll put a T right in here and then run it back down the driveway. Some people use like a filter fabric to put over top of the gravel or even encase the whole thing, the gravel and the pipe in a filter fabric. And what it's supposed to do is uh, kind of keep the dirt from infiltrating into the gravel. However, the only time I ever use filter fabric is if I'm putting a French drain like through a lawn, something like that, where you're putting topsoil right on top of it. I don't think it's a horrible idea, but the way I see it, I've never seen, you know, a filter that doesn't need changed. And, uh, I've dug up old drains before that had that filter fabric and it just gets all plugged up and the water would run off of it and go somewhere else instead of in the drain. So that's why I don't really use a filter fabric cloth, anything like that. I just use perforated pipe, the good stuff. I don't like that flexible black stuff with the slots in it. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's very easy to crush that stuff. So I use the white stuff, put about an inch of river gravel underneath it, put your pipe in with your holes down. Fill the whole trench with gravel on top of it and make sure you have fall. You know, make sure at least a quarter inch per foot fall on your pipe and give that water somewhere to go and you'll get rid of it. So this video here is going to kind of go kind of long, so I think I'll do this in two parts. Uh, the next part it will be installing the drain from the downspout, tie into this drain that I just put in take it down to the ditch on the driveway and I think that'll dry this up really well. All that'll be left up here before I stone it is to put a culvert in back there uh, from where the swale dumps the water down across the driveway. Do that and then I can stone all this driveway and uh, make it look real nice. So that'll be next. But anyway, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button and click subscribe. Thanks.